Until now, we have used Faro with uh, a white themed, uh, a white theme. So as you can see here, we see that the theme in Faro is dominated by white. And this is exactly the default theme that Faro uses. But there are other themes that you can use as well. If you click on the on anywhere in open space, you open the world menu, and you go to tools, uh, system settings, system settings, and you can go to appearance, and user interface, click here so you, it expands, and in user interface you can choose uh, other interface like Vistory, which is more uh, close to a Windows, and Watery, which is more similar to the macOS view. So you have an option to change, but it doesn't really or changes the colors. And to tell you the truth, I don't really like those themes very well because they don't really uh, fit the look of Faro. So let's change back to Faro 3. Instead, what you can do is to install the dark theme. Now, the reason why you want to install the, you need to install the dark theme is because it's uh, something very new. It uh, came out, I think, just a few weeks ago. Uh, it's still quite experimental, but it's a perfect choice for those like me that prefer a more uh, dark look to uh, their interface because it, it makes it easier for me to actually see things. Uh, I'm not really, uh, I don't, my eyes don't tolerate very much uh, light colors. So what you have to do is follow three, three simple steps. Uh, first of all, this code, you will be able to find this code in the more info of the video. So you just go to the video and click on the more info, more information section, and they, it should give you uh, the code for, uh, for executing, for installing the theme. Now, what we need to do is do these three simple steps. First one, we, we need to add the repository. What we do here is actually say to Faro where to find the Faro uh, 3D dark theme, uh, Faro 3 dark theme online. So we say to Faro where to find the dark theme online. So you execute for this, you do do it. I'm not going to do it now because uh, if I do all these steps, it's going to take some time. And then you need to say to Faro to download it. You actually said where to find it, but now you need to download it and put it inside your image. So what you do is select this and do it. Now, after you do this, you have to instruct Faro to install the theme. So it's actually an, uh, enable it so it becomes your default theme. And you need to execute this uh, message here. Uh, this step here is going to take some time. It actually downloads a lot of packages uh, in order to be able to uh, install the dark theme. So you have to give it a bit of time to really install this. But as soon as you execute this command, uh, it should uh, open the dark theme for you, which is, let me close this image, save and quit. Uh, let me open here. Let me open dark theme. Uh, what I'm using here is uh, called far launcher, which I'm going to explain in a, in a later tutorial. So let's open this image here. So as soon as you execute the final command, you should see something like this. Let me expand this so you can see it more clearly. Okay. So this is the, 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 the dark theme. Actually, you can see I have already here a workspace with the commands. So these three steps that we explained early on. And it's really a nice theme because uh, the syntax is very nice. It's the highlighting, for example. You can see here that it's very easy to read the code. Uh, it should appear, uh, the text should appear uh, much smaller in the video because I haven't adjusted the, the font size. But uh, if you download the theme, you shouldn't have any problems with the font size. But of course, you can change the font size if you go to here to Systems, Settings, Appearance, and go to uh, Standard Fonts. And here you can change the kind of fonts you want. And uh, I think, yeah, I think it's here, the Standard Fonts, ah, for Code, for example. Code is here. You can go here and change the fonts to uh, anything you like. So that is all the steps you need to follow to install the dark theme. It's actually very easy to do. Uh, but bear in mind that it's still experimental, but we need people to test it and report us back any problem that they have. So if you really like dark themes, make sure you actually try, give this a try and uh, tell me what you think about it. And if you have any problem, uh, make sure you register to the Faro mailing list and report the problem there or just 
comment the problem in the video and I can report the problem back to the main list myself. See you in the next tutorial.